Kenny Anderson, Director of Multicultural Affairs for the City of Huntsville, and welcome to Impact. Each week we bring you information about exciting and important things that are happening around our community. One of the things that we like to highlight on this broadcast is when we have an opportunity to be able to share information about free events that reach out across the broad spectrum of our community and tries to incorporate as many people as possible in a high energy, vibrant experience. We're gonna be talking about one of those that's coming up very soon now, and it's called the Five Points Black Party. I have a couple of guests today to tell us all about this event and why you should put it on your calendar and plan to be there. Tim Miller is a founding member of the Five Points Black Party Initiative. Welcome to the broadcast. How's it going, Kenny? Good it's, to going, see you. it's going great, man. It's good to have you and good to have this opportunity to talk about this awesome event. Absolutely. You're here today with Eric Echoes, and he is uh, not just uh, helping out with this initiative, but he's also a board member for an organization called Humans Optimizing Personal Empowerment, HOPE. That's what we're all about here, all about making a difference in people's lives and making an impact in the community. So welcome to the broadcast. Thanks so much, Kenny. It's good to have both of you. Let's start right at the very beginning, guys. Tell us sure. what the Five Points Block Party is. Uh, the Five Points Block Party is a multicultural arts and entertainment festival. It is a place that you're gonna hear rock and roll, you're gonna hear pop, you're gonna hear hip hop, you're gonna hear soul, all together on one stage, uh, August the 13th. It is to stimulate the, not only the economy, but the local arts and just all of the entertainment that's in the Huntsville and in the 256 district. And this is of course your second year doing this. You had a big start last year. How did things go last year? Oh, it was great, it yeah. was great, it was great. I actually had the opportunity to perform at that first uh, block party. Uh, we had that one at the Kind Society off of Pratt. And uh, we had a really good turnout, uh, a lot of vendors, a lot of boutiques, uh, artists, musicians. I mean, all around great time. We were there pretty much the entire day. Yeah, yeah. over 400 great. people came out. Uh, the rain didn't stop them. Uh, it never does in Huntsville. Uh, people <laughs> love great music and food, so it was a great turnout. All right, so you have this concept about doing something in the community that involves the arts and entertainment, mm -hmm. and there's so many different kinds of initiatives going on. You decide on doing this thing called the Five Points Black Party. Mm -hmm. So there's a planning process that goes on behind the scene where conversations take place mm -hmm. and logistical considerations are made, and then you execute, and it happens. Mm -hmm. What is that feeling like to actually be a part of that process that you spent time planning for, mm -hmm. and it just goes down like that? <laughs> It feels great. It brings us places like this here, um, and it was organic. Uh, it began with an idea with uh, Joseph Marshall, who is over the Con Society, owner of Con Society, uh, Jason Birmingham, Rick Bradshaw, uh, Cricket, DJ A Twist, and so many individuals that were a part of this in the beginning where it was just an idea. And then we thought about it and said, well, let's pull from the resources we already have. We don't need a grant. It would be great. Uh, we we don't want to ask necessarily. We can do this ourselves. Let's you know. Let's pull it together with the resources we have and the friends we have, uh, like Eric Echoes and different people in the in the community that we can count on. And by the grace of God and a prayer, we were able to pull it together, and it worked. And once we saw that we could do it, we said, Well, why not do it again this year? Yeah. So you make a great point. These kinds of initiatives come from somewhere. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes the daunting task is to find out how do I fund this thing? How do I make it happen? Mm -hmm. How do I really motivate and energize people to be a part of this? And you just had dressed that, Tim, in mm -hmm. a way that I think people really need to understand that anything is possible when someone decides to do something if they just plant the seed. Yeah. And I imagine that you had that kind of an experience last year and was part of something that, like you said, as a startup event, 400 people show up. Yeah. That's gotta be exciting. Yeah, because I didn't know if five people were gonna show up. I thought it was, I was just I was, <laughs> I was excited. I mean, I expected it to work. You know, you know dealing with Tim Miller, Rick Bradshaw, um, Joseph Marshall, um, uh, Tammy Bucky, and the rest of the, the Hope um, uh, organization. You know, these people, they're, they're, they're go getters and they're, they're success driven. Mm -hmm. So it's, I do expect things to happen. 
the level of of uh, of accomplishment that we actually experienced was daunting. And, you know, wow, it's a lot of people out here right now. You know, we, we should we should go hide in the back. <laughs> but you know, it's it's a, it's a real good, it's a great thing, and I appreciate them asking me to come out and help host this year along with uh, Angela Bradshaw and Lachey B. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you see it happen now. You decide that it's, it was a success. Mm -hmm. We're going to go for year number two. Absolutely. What's going to be different this year than last year? Well, this year it's going to be 18 and up. Uh, last year we had kids. We had moon bounces, and it was great. Uh, my kids came out there. Not only did they do it, but they helped, and there were so many kids having a good time. But this year, being real, real close to the local elections, we wanted to focus on the voters and the people that have the power that have the voice to actually make decisions. And, you know, as I said before, before, I know it's an election year with the White House and we're thinking about presidents and we're thinking about all this stuff going on in Washington, which is, it is a concern. But before we worry about the White House, we gotta worry about our own house and take care of Huntsville, Decatur, Madison, the Tennessee Valley, the whole 256. And so, you know, we're inviting out any uh, officials, candidates, uh, incumbents, everyone to come out to be able to talk to the people, uh, enjoy the music, enjoy some of the food, and for everyone to be able to see them in that capacity or in that light to be in the same place where they are. So we want to focus on not only the, uh, the fun and the entertainment and the arts here, but the decisions that we're going to have to live with, whether we like it or not, unless we move for the next five to 10 years. So, and you know, have a good time while we're doing it. It's uh, kind of like one of my favorite parties. It's a party with a purpose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. You got Absolutely. this great opportunity <laughs> to share information, but also have a great time. School is gonna be back in session, not just for the secondary school system, but the post-secondary school system. I'm sure mm -hmm. you're gonna be reaching out to those 18 and above in that category. Absolutely. There's a huge millennial population here in the community. I'm sure you're gonna be reaching out to that group. You got people across the spectrum of faith and social and civic organizations. And I'm sure you're inviting all those people to come out too. Why should they be a part of this? I mean, it's a part, it's, it's for everyone. Yeah. The five point block party is not necessarily for an 18 year old. It's for anyone this year, obviously for 18 and up. That's to 56 or 83, you can come out, you're gonna have a good yeah. time. So there's room for boomers like me. You could, we're gonna have some folk music. <laughs> we're gonna have some bluegrass. I mean, I mean, we could keep it in the hip hop zone too. We play I'm some saying. blues. You know, <laughs> you're doing salsa too. You know, I'm saying you got a mean, you know, mean dance game going on. <laughs> Absolutely. But you're saying you're covering the spectrum. We're covering the spectrum. Got and that's why hope is involved. Hope is for, like I said, humans optimizing personal empowerment. But we look to, to empower uh, the individual from the young, the young to the old, and you know your most vulnerable people are usually your youngest and your elderly. So we want to give you the powers, the tools that you need. So we wanted to support this program and this event in order to to do that for the college students as well, and uh, give everyone opportunity to do something more for themselves. Yeah, this is important, I think, because there's a message attached to this mm -hmm. in so many different levels. I mean the message of having an idea and bringing it to fruition and saying, we're not gonna let any barriers get in our way. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna let naysayers detract us. We're not gonna let haters draw our energy down. No. We're gonna simply go out there, we're gonna do what we know we can do best. We're gonna mm -hmm. take our skill set and make it happen. That's one message, but the other message is that you can really come together in this community mm -hmm. and really integrate processes. You can get to know people that you don't routinely get to know. Yeah. You can get to experience a variety of things that you don't necessarily routinely experience. And like I was saying, a recent conversation I was having with uh, Tim and, and Rick, that, you know, there are two things that unite people across the community. I don't care what it is. <laughs> yeah. That's music and food. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> those are the two, those are the two no-brainers. Yeah. If there's music, I'm coming. If yeah. there's food, I'm coming. Right, and everything, right. the world will be at peace. <laughs> to be aligned with Mars. Yeah. You know, I mean, it'll be yeah. a sweet, sweet spirit in the place. Yeah, it's absolutely. hard to argue over good music and good yeah. food in, yeah. in the same place. Barbecue and beats. Yeah, <laughs> barbecue and beats. There you go. That's pretty right. much all you need. Yeah, yeah. So it's a wonderful, wonderful thing, I think, that, that you can come out and do this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And what about people that may want to volunteer and help you in support of this initiative? Please, baby Jesus, come out and volunteer. <laughs> sign uh, up. We need, you know, sign up. You can uh, contact us at fivepointsblock at gmail.com. Block is spelled B L O K. And that's five, the number five points block at gmail.com. Uh, volunteers to help or donate water, Gatorade, um, 
anything, time, chairs, tables, you know, whatever it is in that capacity, or just to volunteer their time. Yeah, so can. we're looking for that because the reason, and again, due to our sponsors, uh, so many sponsors, I can't begin to name them, uh, but with our sponsors, they have made this event um, free to the public. So, I mean, it's free 99 because <laughs> we want everyone to be able to come out to buy art at the event, to buy some of the local music, to buy some of the local food trucks, to buy from the local artists or just the local commerce, again, to stimulate the, you know, the economy here and to really drive that business. Yeah. Um, these are people with businesses on wheels mm -hmm. and we want to be able to drive that business. Yeah, so there's an economic driver in this process too. I think we're trying to cover support. everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it sounds like a very comprehensive initiative that has the mm -hmm. potential to cover so many different people, and I think that's a great thing. Um, there's a lot of excitement that's building right now about the Five Points Block Party. I know that people that went last year are looking forward to coming this year, mm -hmm. and I think you're targeting the right group. Mm -hmm. I think you're targeting a group that has the future in their hands mm -hmm. as it relates to so many different things in our community. Mm -hmm. And I think this is a time to have that conversation just in the culture that we're living in today. You know, what future do we want for our world? What future do we want for our cities and our mm -hmm. countries? Um, what uh, future do we want for our block? Mm -hmm. True. Good, yeah. yeah. Because it's, it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And if you want to minimize the process as much as you can, really what I'm doing in my home and on my block mm -hmm. is the first place that change takes place. So am I involved with a neighborhood watch association? Am I really trying to be my brother's keeper? Mm -hmm. Am I being mindful of how I take care of the community in which I live in? Mm -hmm. Do I recognize that I have a responsibility as a citizen of the city that I live in mm -hmm. to be connected in various ways? So really this initiative speaks to all of those things mm -hmm. in so many ways and I think presents such a tremendous opportunity for the 18 and up generation mm -hmm. to really engage. And this is, a, this is a generation I think wants to be engaged. You know, I see guys like you, man, you guys are gonna be the ones that make the difference. And I know that because I'm not anticipating you making a difference in the future, I see mm. you making a difference now. Mm. And wow, because you're you. on the scene, doing the work right now, putting the time in, mm -hmm. I see it happening. So it leaves me with a great sense of hope <laughs> <laughs> as it relates to the future. <laughs> So I commend you all for what you're doing and people that are just listening right now, I know a lot of people are talking about doing different things. Mm -hmm. People that are looking to you, you are an inspiration. Mm -hmm. uh, just speak to somebody right now who mm -hmm. may be looking for an opportunity to get involved in the community. Mm. Absolutely. Absolutely, I think it, um, it gives, it, by doing this, you know, because we all have great ideas. Uh, we think about ways to change the world and when we're children, we think it's that easy and it, it really comes down to just doing it and just giving it the best shot you can. And at the beginning, we didn't know it was going to turn out like this. We didn't, we had no clue how to do this, no experience in doing this. Uh, maybe some, but not to this capacity. So by us doing this, it gave us, not only us, but others the permission in a sense to do it. And they say, well, how did you do it? Well, we, just, we got together, we had a conversation and we thought planned and we executed it, you know? Yeah. Good friend of mine, Ja War, he always says, think, plan, and execute. Mm. Just do it, do it to the best that you can. And if it doesn't turn out the way that you thought, at least you did it. Mm. So some people spend a lot, a lot of time talking about what can happen. Mm -hmm. Some people spend a or lot of time. What did. <laughs> or what did. <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And Absolutely. so you guys are doing it, and we certainly, again, support you in what you're doing and uh, are privileged to be able to have this opportunity to promote the Five Points Block Party. Tell people again how they can get more information about this event. Yeah. Well, you can go to the Five Points Block at gmail.com, and that is the number five points, B L O K, at gmail.com. And our Facebook is Five Points Block and Five Points Block Party. And our Instagram is Five Points Block. So it's all over the place. Yeah. And uh, luckily, everyone's been hashtagging and helping us out to <laughs> get the press and everything out. And again, it takes place August 13th at Lincoln Mill. Yes, Lincoln Mill, not Low Mill, but Lincoln, Lincoln Mill. Mill. We love Low Mill as well. That's where we had the ciphers at, uh, the hip hop ciphers. But this is at Lincoln Mill. And if you've been living in Huntsville as long as I have, it's behind the old Winn-Dixie building. <laughs> uh, and it's uh, right off of, yeah. behind <laughs> Envy. Right, right. Yeah, it's behind, behind Club Envy. Envy. That's Absolutely. Right. That's right. 1300 Meridian, I believe, is the address. Yes. August 13th, 530 to 930, completely free. 
Free yes. 99. Yeah. And, that, and, and the flyer says 5.30, but we're going to tell you that it starts at 5 p.m. All so right. 5 p.m. I like that. <laughs> I like that. That means it's going to start and finish on time, and people are going to come out and have a great experience. We're looking forward to being there, and uh, it's an exciting opportunity to be able to highlight a great thing that's happening in the community. Tim Miller, Eric Echols, thank you for talking with me today and sharing with our audience about this outstanding program. Thank you for having us. Thank All you, right. Kenny. We're looking to make this impact. Thank All you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We hope that you've enjoyed our conversation today, and we hope that you'll write down August 13th from 5.30 to 9.30 at Lincoln Mill, which is 1300 Meridian Street, and we hope that you'll come on out and be a part of the Five Points Black Party. It's a community-wide initiative, free to all. Uh, Tim said my favorite word is a multicultural event, which is why we're focusing on it on this program, mm -hmm. and we hope that you'll spread the word to people that you know. You can follow them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, there are flies up all over town. There are lots of ways to get connected to the Five Points Block Party Initiative. We hope that you'll like our Facebook page, which is Impact with Kenny Anderson, where you can see images, behind the scenes images of this broadcast, as well as a video of the show that you're watching right now. And we hope that you'll share that as well. In the meantime, we hope that you have a great rest of the week and we'll talk again soon.